everybody, Anthony New and Son here. This is my review of the uh, Baymar 1600. And I've had this unit for, oh, must be three or four years now. Bought it brand new uh, from greenbeanery.ca. And I bought it because I was roasting business, uh, I was roasting beans commercially a little bit <clears throat> for a little while. And this is the largest uh, con largest kind of consumer roaster that you can get. This is the one pound roaster, they say one pound. Um, it has, it's called the Gourmet Coffee Roaster. And um, I've really put this through the paces. This has roasted probably, probably hundreds of uh, pounds of beans so far. So what do you get with it? This is dirty, you know, I obviously use this. You get your uh, roasting barrel thing, which turns, and you get your chaff collector, which works really well. You can see a lot of chaff in there, in between. <clears throat> this le lever here, if you can see it, is uh, it lays down the little, uh, what do you call them? It's going to call them uh, baffles, actually, uh, which catch the stuff, and that, that helps you slide it under the, under the cylinder. And you've got your heating elements in the back there, basically. Um, and uh, two glass heating elements, whatever they are. <clears throat> and this comes with the afterburner. Now, after uh, after three years of use, and it's quite dirty as well, I gave up trying to clean it. Um, <clears throat> things that have uh, gone wrong after three years of use, um, the hinge on this uh, came off, came unwelded, so I put used some uh, hanger wire, I think, or some small gauge uh, wire there to uh, tie that back on but the little welds there came off um, I find it is harder to keep clean unless you stay on top of it I roast a lot of, a lot of beans at a time it does not roast uh, one pound it uh, up to second crack it'll roast maybe three quarters of a pound uh, maybe near a pound if it's spotless, but if you get any sort of uh, grime uh, built up on it, uh, your your roast times uh, or your roasting ability uh, goes downwards, and you can roast fewer and fewer beans, lower and lower pounds of beans. I've got it at a point where it's kind of steady, uh, stable state, and I'm roasting um, 12, 13 ounces uh, at a time, and that that. That's the full amount of time on this, which is, I think is 22 minutes and 30 seconds or something like that. Um, this does not go far enough. Uh, you should be able to set this to run for 30 minutes and, you know, put a full pound of beans in there. Um, but it won't do that. It won't do it to second crack. Um, also, after three years, my afterburner has uh, died. The, the element in here doesn't work anymore. Um, nothing wrong with the keypad. You can get an upgraded keypad on them now, which uh, uh, allow the cylinder to, to spin faster, which in theory um, heats the beans up faster and actually gets them closer to the element um, as it rotates, and so it actually is able to roast it. It could probably roast up to an actual pound in this with that uh, faster cool, a uh, faster uh, spinning cylinder. I don't use any of the other features on here. I never do a quarter or a half. I'm I'm not artsy fartsy like that. I just do my full one pound roast. I press the one and I press start and then I give it all the time increments. I can press plus until it maxes out on time increments. And the one pound, I, I put about uh, 12 ounces in for the one pound roast. Uh, this doesn't do this, like I said, this will not do one pound of beans for sure. Um, nothing about the cylinder. I've never got, I've never replaced it. Cylinder works fine. Um, you can see all the, the chaff here from roasting. I've got my uh, my grinder over here which is uh, a Cuisinart. It uh, holds up to I think uh, a half pound of beans at a time or something and I fresh grind them every morning and then I hold the the, uh, the, the uh, roasted beans back there for what I have. Um, basically I roast uh, fair trade organic uh, all the time and I get uh, 30 pounds of eggs. This is actually an image of uh, this is 30 pounds of Guatemalan beans. So these are the these are the green beans in here that you can see. And I get these from Green Beanery. Now, for the maintenance, uh, you do have to clean the inside, and so you take some window cleaner, and that works well. And then this back panel gets uh, packed up with uh, dust and 
uh, all sorts of junk. So you need, I use a toothpick and I kind of poke the holes out um, to clean them and then just wipe it down. Um, I did have to take this apart once already. Um, it gets fairly clogged up all in there with, uh, with bean dust. Um, the other thing is I have an exhaust fan here which exhausts to the outdoors. It's just a big, uh, what is it, a four inch computer fan basically that I have hooked up. And I turn that on, that just kind of helps suck the, uh, the hot air out because it does smoke. Even with the afterburner it does uh, smoke. Um, and since my afterburner is uh, broken, uh, it probably smokes even more. Um, but I turn that on and open up a window and uh, then it doesn't get too smoky in the house. I do have to remember to turn off the fire alarm, however, uh, usually when I'm roasting beans. Um, I do use a light every once in a while, but since the uh, glass is so gummed up, uh, I don't use that that much. And like I say, I don't use any of the other features on here, because I don't want to do half quarter pound, half pound roast. I mean, the, the amount of roasted beans you get out of a quarter or a half pound is a waste of time in my eyes. I want bulk beans, I want to roast bulk beans, and I don't want to roast again for a week. So that, that's why I do maximum setting here. I wish this would actually do a pound, uh, or maybe even two pounds. I think the next closest unit would be a five pound, and that would be basically a commercial roaster at that point. Um, so that's not real cost effective. And you're, st you're talking about a 400 bucks for one of these, versus, you know, like a couple thousand dollars, up to five thousand dollars for your basic, you know, five pound roaster. And I got out of selling beans, there just wasn't money in it for the amount of uh, uh, quantity that I was roasting. Um, I was having success selling it in, in a store uh, locally, but uh, it just was too much effort for the amount of profit that I was making. I'd, I'd really have to expand to multiple stores to make a, a real go of it. Um, the LCD display works, reads out fine, you know, after uh, three, four years of use of use and uh, fairly heavy use. I use this once a week at least and I have literally roasted hundreds of pounds uh, of green beans and consecutively too. I don't let this thing cool down. I'll just keep it going. I'll roast 12 ounces or 12 or 13 ounces. As soon as it's done its cooling cycle I'll put another 13 ounces in, start it up. So I don't even let this thing cool down. It just keeps going and going. I like that because it actually keeps it, the interior hotter. And that means you can roast more beans and that they done it's done roasting a bit faster because it stays nice and hot. That's about it. I mean, uh, you know, the hinge hinge works fine. You can see there it hasn't caused problem. I haven't had any trouble with the, the rubber uh, on here. I don't think they've made a lot of changes or, or improvements to the, the new model. I think the new model is basically uh, just a new keypad, which gives you that uh, faster rotation. So that's, that's my review of the Baymore 1600. I was using it for commercial purposes for a short while, for a couple of years, and now it's just personal use. And uh, like I say, it does get clogged up. It does need good cleaning, and uh, the afterburner uh, died on mine, this guy up here. Um, and there's actually parts that came out of it that I don't know why they went. I took them out anyways. You don't need the afterburner particularly. Um, all that being said, it works pretty well. Um, it, it does what I need it to. There's really no other players on the market that I know of that are in this price range uh, to, to, uh, for this amount of beans. You can get ones around 400 bucks, uh, fancier ones. Um, what is it, the Roast Genie or something? But it only it won't want to do like a half pound of beans. And it's, for me, it's a waste of time just to do a half pound uh, of coffee beans uh, because you're, you'd be roasting all day just to get a week's worth of coffee. Um, I have had air uh, roasters. Um, I sold one. I have roasted in my oven. I've roasted on top of my oven in cast iron. So I've tried all the different formats. I've tried in an air popper. Um, that's how I started out actually in an air popper and that makes really good uh, air roasted uh, coffee beans. Actually I find are more interesting tasting than um, the elements roasted ones. Um, but uh, obviously I can't do as many doing it that way. Anyways, that's my review. I also keep all my green beans in this bin here and I, I have it labeled. This uh, says Yurga, Ethiopian Yurga Chafe. That's my favorite uh, green bean. But in here right now are Colombian beans. I didn't switch it over. To measure it out, I do have a, a half decent, you know, glass uh, starfruit uh, um, scale. Because um, you do, you ha to get uh, an accurate result uh, for time and, and roasting on this, you do need a, an accurate scale to get, uh, you know, your exact amounts there. 
Um, but yeah, all in all, this is what I used to clean it up, clean up the uh, extra chaff, which I haven't even done yet. But anyways, that's that's your review. After a couple of years, uh, it's uh, done well so far. No, no real complaints, um, other than I wish it roasted more uh, coffee at a time. Um, but uh, such as it is, this is the best option that is available to me right now that I found anyways. And uh, I would recommend it, definitely. Um, if, you're, if you drink a lot of coffee uh, and you don't want to be roasting every other day, um, then you need this one. It doesn't do a full pound, um, but it'll get you close. Um, so, And it's the only thing out there anyway, so... That's, that's my uh, review. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think, and I uh, hope this helps the next guy looking for a coffee roaster.